You'd think, if indeed you did, that a guy with the skin quality of a pachyderm wouldn't have a problem with this climate. Hey, that one looks familiar. It lacks a bit in the stature department, though. Hey, that one has some legs. They're kind of spindly, but you sure have no room to criticize. Bootlicker appears to be open for business. The Cyclops Club doesn't appear to be doing business. This guy looks like a vertically challenged Darth Vader. What does a thing like that do for fun? Bearing signs indicating the names of the streets which create this intersection, a light pole illuminates the area. What a mistake that is. Like anyone would want to see more of this place. It looks like someone or something got just a little two-faced and wrecked a perfectly good Loadster 750. The Pinto of Polysorbate. Seldom have you had the good fortune to get to know a street so up close and personal. You feel you have a real bond growing. You summon the ability to leave it alone. That wouldn't prove fulfilling. Nothing happens. See, most games would just give you a generic response when you try something useless like that. But we've custom tailored this response exactly for you. The buildings around here have seen much better days. This must be the old part of town. If it isn't, you'd hate to see what is. Bootlicker appears to be open for... This is an interesting billboard. You can't help but wonder what this Altera company markets. Rats! The cinema appears to be closed. You were really hoping to see Tango and Cash 27. Your reach is about as great as your personal depth. That's delightfully... Your reach is about a... You pinch yourself to make sure this isn't all a bad dream. It just hums along, oblivious to your presence. Don't you hate that? He wisely ignores you. You're no Bruce Dern, buddy. Your words are so unspectacular, nature doesn't even see fit to grant it an echo. He seems totally unfazed by your sorry attempt at communication.
Your reach is about as great as your personal debt. Your reach is about as great as your personal depth. Your reach is about as great as your personal depth. Thank you, my good man. Yikes, I, I hope everything came out with me. That guy looks like a walking green flesh bulb. And his eyes look like filaments, and... Whoa! Must be a janitorial flashback. That's delightfully non-helpful. That's an interesting piece of hardware. Your normally dim power of recollection actually recalls having seen a picture of one of these in the ship library. Get this, it's called a bike. People used to actually get on these and use their own muscles to achieve locomotion. What losers. Upon closer inspection, you notice some sort of ID card hanging on the frame. Upon grabbing the ID card, you notice the picture on it is of a rather homely-looking alien type. Yes, everyone can't be as fortunate as you. Some wise sap closed up shop and jammed from this dying settlement. A very odd fixture occupies a good portion of this corner. Its purpose is irrelevant, as it seems to be the victim of a lack of maintenance and some sort of clinging mineral-like deposit, which have been laid down in several arch-shaped patterns. A sensible person would be afraid to find out what this caps off. That being the case, I'll take the liberty of telling you that it's something you don't want to mess with. You wonder if there could be any connection between this kind of waste disposal and a thriving business like implants and stuff. Wow, that's kind of deep for you. What is that? It looks like a punk grasshopper. What would Darwin think of this place? Hey! He ignores you. Get used to it. Now there's an interesting sounding business name. You wonder what they sell. There's only one way to find out if they mean what they say. Hmm. Those two look like people my mom warned me about. I think I should avoid them. Interesting. She appears to be waiting for someone. She might be one of those professional ladies your mom told you about.
let's not, and say we did. She says, scrump off, you little felchmonger. What is that? It look... Hey! He ignores you. You drool in that direction, but no one notices. An arcade! You haven't been in an arcade in at least a sequel or two. How cute. It has a really big replica of a coin slot. It's one of those new Kodrak mobile photo booths. I heard they were beta testing those. You pop a coin in the slot and climb on in. All right, I'm looking pretty good. Fire away. There's got to be an optics problem with that machine. I, I look uh, partially digested. thing you didn't opt for that second set of prints after all. Guess that guy won't be filing any complaints with the Portable Business Association. A mechanical traffic light diligently maintains control over the nearly non-existent traffic in the area. The pilot of this craft employed a truly creative parking technique. By the looks of it, They'd been a patron of Orion's belt immediately prior to executing this fine parking job. Sometimes it's hard to tell which looks stranger, the ship or the being piloting it. You won't know in this case, though, since this seems to have been abandoned for quite some time. This guy looks friendly now. Try to keep it that way. Another Orion's Belt franchise. That's one place you have yet to be banished from. I'll bet that's the finest neon sculpture on the whole corner. Sweet Sentiments Urban Style The flaming barrels remind you of the good old days, kicking back in the sandy outback of Corona, roasting grell burgers over a lit rocket nozzle. Life was so simple then, but then so are you. Apparently, some things don't change. You quite cleverly paste your picture over the old one on the ID card. This guy looks like he should be standing watch around one of those barrels. He has a bit of a nervous look about him. Ah. 
Ah, this place still has those old-style ray projection infomercial viewers. What rubes. Ah, this place still has those old-style ray projection infomercial viewers. What rubes. Those are some interesting looking dudes. Must be a couple of real losers since they seem to be dateless. Of course, that won't be a problem for you once word gets around that you've hit the planet. Can you believe he actually thinks that? Those are some interesting looking dudes. Must be a couple of real losers. Can you believe he actually thinks that's the manager of this little slice of heaven. He looks like he's an expert on energy conservation. Mainly his. The desk, while mimicking some control console look, serves as not much more than a place for the desk clerk to rest his heavily bunioned hind feet. Nice place, if you're a fan of dives. An elevator! Boy, this place has everything. He seems to be ignoring you. Uh, excuse me. I'd like a room, please. Really? I mean, uh, <clears throat> really? Well, uh, I think we got one or two for a couple of hundred buckazoids a night. In advance, you understand. I believe I have a prepaid reservation provided me by Starcon. I got no reservations from any Starcon. I got no reservations, period. I do a cash business. You want a room? Cough up the buckazoids. So that's, um, 200. Well, okay. 200? Don't you listen, son. I said 300. That's 300 a night. And I don't include any weird pets. Them's extra. I could have sworn you said... You calling me a liar? I don't need no guff from the likes of you. This is the finest lodging on the planet, son. If you don't like the prices, you can just take your sorry pinkish carcass out of here. Well, uh, 300? Okay, uh, but give me your finest room then. The finest room. Yeah, right. <laughs> you got it, buckaroo. Best in the house. <laughs> Coming right up. Pay up, and we're in business.